Good morning, Big Square. Road to Road.com with your morning horn of Z's, your sip of coffee. With my Road to Road of Horn of Z's mug. I gave these away a while ago for uh, private road memberships. People love them. <laughs> They're cool. I like them because it's a big cup and it feels good in your hand. <laughs> uh, we might do it again. I don't know. Uh, but right now we're giving away Veritasium. There was like, whoa, what's going on with Veritasium? What's you know what's left? What can we do? I don't know. Um, truthfully, everybody's waiting on Reggie. Reggie came out and said, "Hey, at least we're still in business." I I see a lot of different ways uh, Vertasium could go. Uh, clearly, clearly, it was an attempt by the SEC and the powers that be and the banksters to stop an amazing technology from being introduced. Uh, they didn't stop it, but they probably slowed it down. Um, I have. Still have great hopes for Veritasium. Uh, we'll just have to see what Reggie could do or Jeffrey Tabak could do. Um, you know, if Reggie can't do some of the stuff he wants to do because of the settlement they came to, then um, Tabak would take over. And Tabak's unbelievable, by the way. Uh, he's definitely working for the good guys long ago uh, with Reagan and brilliant guy. So I'm not worried about Veritasium. <clears throat> but we'll see how the powers that be want it to be implemented. <clears throat> Again, they wouldn't have come to a settlement. They would have just thrown Reggie in jail and everybody who worked for Veritasium in jail on no reasons, no... I mean, the whole suit was just a joke. Pathetic joke. But that's the SEC. They, work, they don't work for the people. They work for the criminals. So, anyway, we'll see what happens to Veri. <clears throat> um, I think uh, we'll have some announcements in the next few weeks from Reggie Middleton about uh, the stuff he still can do and is going to pursue, and uh, we'll keep an eye on it. I still see uh, them coming back to Reggie saying, oh, sorry, by the way, our criminal markets just blew up, and we need something like Veritasium for peer-to-peer -peer transactions. But we'll find out, right? It was in Cliff's data. Uh, clearly, the, the runway is cleared, and uh, you should have Veritasium, I believe. Speaking of markets, uh, the Dow could hit a record high today. The amount of market manipulation since the 1960s is outstanding. It is just sublime that Steve Mnuchin can click a mouse and put the Dow at all-time highs. They could double all-time highs with a, with a bigger click of a mouse. It is so ridiculous. When Trump says, oh, yeah, the economy is doing great, it's all me, it's a joke. He's just rigging it more than the guy before him. And they rigged it more than the guy before him. And before him. And before him. And they rigged it more than the guy before him. There hasn't been free markets since the invention of computers and computer trading models in the 60s and 70s by Alan Greenspan. It has not been freely traded. Nothing, nothing you see is freely traded. Why do you think inflation isn't going up and they're printing all this money? Because they can control the prices of all commodities with a click of a mouse. A click of a mouse. So is it is it uh, important that Dow hits all time high? Yeah, I think I think the all time high has to be hit before they pop the bubble. So great land uh, kind of stake in the road that all time high is getting hit. When are they going to pop the bubble? I don't know. When they decide, when they say, okay, we're ready. It has grown so big, so out of control that we are ready. And speaking of being ready, <clears throat> yes, another big repo tonight. To add on top of the other repos, this is uh, there was no expirations today of the term repos, so you won't see a term repo to cover the old term repo. That's coming up in the next couple of days. Um, but we are seeing huge seventy-seven billion seventy-seven point five eight three, which puts the road to Ruta total <coughs> for those who are keeping score tonight. Uh, what is the Monday? The what is tonight? Monday the third. Tonight. In order for the banks to stay in business and for this, the Dow hitting all-time highs to continue, tonight the Fed has to inject 300, we hit 300, 300 billion dollars of bank bailouts just tonight. That is the overnights, the term repos, the reverse repos, and the flat-out treasury purchases. The total right now, adding the 77.58 and subtracting the 73.13 from Friday, the total is 300 
billion dollars tonight for this to be possible. The Dow is at all-time highs. Without the $300 billion, JP Morgan, Citibank, Deutsche Bank, HSB, all the big banks would go down and the system would go down without the $300 billion. They are in such trouble and they need more. And this is what I'm getting to. If you can look, you look at the road to root of projections, we are on the uh, exponential growth, we're off. We were off back here too. And then all of a sudden they announced the, uh, the treasury purchases and that kicked it up over the line. Watch for the announcement of intraday, intraday repos, meaning three or four hour repos during the day. Basically, <laughs> it's a way to cover up fraudulent activity. It is completely ridiculous. The intraday repo means the, the banks need money for a matter of hours. That's how desperate they are. And all it's doing is, is covering up the fraud that is actually going on of these banks not marking their book to market. Because if they had to mark their books to market, they would find out that U.S. Treasury bonds are not worth one to one for the dollar. Because no one knows who owns them anymore. They're all rehype obligated. It is sick. It is wrong. It is our world. It is the world we're living in. Stay close to the road, Deruda. And um, I'm still on for the projection, the private road projection. Um, we're still right there. And uh, yeah, that one was posted a week ago or so. Uh, for private road members, go to the timeline articles. Because I did just uh, about a week ago, I put a new one up. Uh, it's update number six, the next trigger. And I put it up on, uh, well, it was two weeks ago, on the 19th. We're right on track for that, by the way. So keep an eye on the road to Ruta, but really keep an eye on this. <clears throat> the bailout, cumulative $300 billion, or the whole system would be gone tonight. And that's going to increase. When it hits $700 billion, it's kind of a stake in the road. Because that was the amount of the bailout in 2008. And then it goes to $20 trillion And then, boom, Congress is going to step in and say, oh, my God, what is going on? I don't think they'll go to Congress. But Congress can end this game with a stroke of a pen. And will they? I think so. Especially when the banks start going down, even with the, bank out, the banker bailouts. Remember, J.P. Morgan is on the hook. J.P. Morgan traders being sentenced in December for RICO charges. It's, they call it Bank A. So if Bank A falls, the largest criminal banker bank in the United, in the world, J.P. Morgan Chase with their their head criminal Jamie Dimon. Can you imagine that perp walk? Jamie Dimon and Blythe Masters hand in hand. It's it's gonna happen. Everybody who says, "Oh, Dix, you're crazy. They'll never win." You know, all the bad guys are always gonna win. Ain't going to happen on our watch. We are taking them down. Read the Road to Road documents. The Fed is taking down the criminal bankers, believe it or not. Keep an eye on it. Take a look at cryptos. Nothing really going on. <clears throat> Volumes are ridiculous. Like I said, computers and derivatives control all markets, especially cryptocurrency. 100% rigged. Up, down, sideways. Every which way, nobody knows the value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, the bankster coin. Nobody knows the real true fair market value because it's not freely traded. Look at my favorite Litecoin. We have a $3.8 billion market cap. Did you know in the last 24 hours, $3.5 billion worth of Litecoin traded hands? $25 billion with a B. Look at the volume, $3.5 billion. Total market cap. 3.8 billion. Did you sell your Litecoin? Apparently you did. It is a con. It is a fraud. These exchanges are not long for these world. Get your freaking cryptos off the exchanges. Coinbase is ridiculous also. Yeah, they might have 80% of the coins. That's what I'm hearing. But that means 20% they don't have. And that's your coin that you hold on their exchange. They don't have them. And there's Thousands of exchanges. Most of them have less than 10%. A lot of them have zero coins. 
So you go on an exchange, you buy your crypto. Phew, I got some Bitcoin. Thank God. You don't take it off. You don't have jack shit. And it's all coming to head very soon. When the banks go, all the you're not going to know what your Bitcoin is worth. Are you kidding? None of these exchanges will even be open. And Bo Pony saying, yeah, the banks are going to crash and then the Bitcoin is going to go crazy. Crazy how? What will it be traded on? Coinbase won't be open. Kraken won't be open. Gemini won't be open. None of them will be open if the banks crash. Get your cryptos in your own possession. After the crash, yes. When markets start up again, two, three weeks, months after, you will know what your cryptos are worth. You will know what your silver is worth. But until then, it is a 100% rigged game played by people like this. <clears throat> Article, Bloomberg, Lone Bitcoin Whale Likely Fueled, the 2017 Price Surge Study Says. Academics update paper that alleges manipulation using Tether. I have been screaming it from the top of my lungs so loud that it pissed people off and they threw cease and desist orders at me. There is what I call the crypto cabal. Deep state figures that absolutely rig the price of cryptocurrencies. Up, down, and sideways. They're easy to find, too. And they just got... They just got the go-ahead from the SEC that you're fine. You can raise $4 billion on a completely fraudulent ICO that promised audits and never gave them. You can raise all that money and pay a tiny little fine because your name is Block One and EOS and you're part of the crypto cabal, so you're fine. The deep state crypto cabal. Bitfinex, Tether, EOS. Yes, I know EOS is out there now. Doesn't mean it wasn't created by the criminal. Absolutely. Anyway, yeah. There's so much criminality and deep state, really dark stuff in cryptocurrencies. And you can't do it's It's life. You can't do anything about it unless you take out the criminals who are controlling this shit. Why is Tether allowed when no, everybody knows they don't have one for one backing. It never did with US dollar backing, like they claimed. Now they claim, oh, backing and other assets. Well, how many pledges are on those other assets? How many people own those Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum that are pledged to the other asset category? It's all a con. Bitfinex is the worst. They will be going down. I don't know what happens to the price of cryptos when all this shit falls apart. Truthfully, I don't think they'll be trading. I don't think cryptos will trade in a system where the bad guys are taken out, the banks are taken down. Obviously, it won't trade. You won't know the price of your Bitcoin. It may be worth 10 million US dollars. You won't even know the price, the value of a US dollar. That's how ugly it is going to be. And it is what is required. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck with this system and the bad guys, criminals, and pedophiles in charge. And we don't want that. Do we? Criminals need to go to jail. Criminal operations need to shut down. Tether, Bitfinex, all the criminal exchanges. We need decentralized exchanges. And they're coming. Saw a great interview by McAfee. I love that guy. Cracks me up. On a decentralized exchange that he's creating. Now, can it be done? Yeah, I hope so. Will he end up in jail? Probably. Although he should have ended up in jail already. So he seems to be able to maneuver his way around you. But the software's out there. It's open source. There's nothing you can do. You get enough nodes out there, enough people using it. And that's what he said in his talk. And you can, the government can make anything they want illegal. It doesn't mean people are going to stop using it if they can. Marijuana was illegal in the United States for a hell of a long time. Did people stop using it? No, not at all. I don't think the plan is to make cryptocurrencies illegal. As a matter of fact, when these bad guys are taken out, I think it's exactly the opposite. I think freedom will reign and governments will stand down. It's in our constitution. We got the documents. That's the beauty in the United States. We got the documents. We got our founding documents. We can return to them. We've left them for a long time, but we can return to them and let the ships fall where they may. Um, 
if they don't if they don't allow um, cryptos to be traded freely, this is what you're going to see. This is the silver chart for the last 20 years. This is a 100% manipulated market with computers and derivatives. Done on the COMEX, which is owned by ICE, which also controls the back system and all the criminal criminal tools they use to rig, or soon to rig, the cryptocurrency market. Anybody who says backed is the greatest thing for cryptocurrencies doesn't know history, doesn't understand market manipulation. Silver, one of the most highly sought after, highly necessary metals on planet Earth is running out, <clears throat> literally. But they can rig it 100% by trading 300 times the amount of silver that's dug out of the ground on these criminal exchanges. That is what backed is being set up to do. Control the price of cryptocurrency. Chris Giancarlo said it. They popped the bubble in 2017, and they plan on controlling the cryptocurrencies from here on out. Do you want the U.S. government controlling cryptocurrencies from here on out? Get your cryptos off the exchanges. Crypto people are smart. They know they can't fight these guys, but what they can do is create tools to go around the government. That's what Bitcoin is, a tool to, for money to go around the government, not needing government. That's what decentralization of the exchanges will do. The decentralized exchanges, the good ones, make sure they're good ones, will go around the government manipulation and the banker manipulation of prices. Yes, it will be very slow, as well it should be very slow because they have to be on chain transactions. Lightning Network, yeah, but that's not fully decentralized. I'd still use it as long as you trust who the other person you're dealing with is. But crypto people, you throw, you throw a roadblock in front of them, they're going to invent a way around it. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. This is Big Swear, Bro Deruta. <clears throat> hey, give me a like and thumbs up. Thumbs up and a like. And hit subscribe. I will be doing a um, a live chat today. And I think we're looking at 1 o'clock. I'll put out a, a um, notification. So hit the little bell on your YouTube. It, get, it gets you notified when I post something. And um, I'll also send it out on the private road right here on the left side. You can get emails from Road Deruta. Put your name and email address in there. And you will get emails as to when I'm going to do my live chats as well as other great information. And then, of course, on the on the private road, join the private road, you're going to get yourself some very, very token on a paper wallet along with the best silver coin ever invented. Double strike with luster. Numbered in a little cave of gold in the Grand Canyon. Ruta running down the silver brick road through the Federal Reserve. That is secretly taking down the bankers. Yes, I know you red pillars that believe the Fed is bad. Fed is bad. Fed is bad. There are also good people within the Fed that are taking down the banks. You don't believe me? You need to study the Road to Ruta stuff. And you take another red pill. The red pill on top of the red pill. And you'll figure out that there's other stuff going on behind the scenes. Um, so yeah, we'll be talking at about 1 o'clock Pacific time today. Which is 4 o'clock Eastern time. Live chat, get your questions ready. This is Bix. Talk to you later.